this layer to about this point here, this black layer, has been under the influence of man-made activities. It's been plowed, and therefore we call it an AP. It's the top layer of the soil, an AP because of the man-made activities, and we call it P because of plowing. Beneath that, you'll see that there are various layers. Now this is particularly interesting because there are black layers that keep coming at regular intervals and that shows the burying that has gone on in the past. That uh, a layer of organic matter has become incorporated in what was the top of the soil. Silt from a flooding event, silt, sand, clay, has come along on top of the silt on top of the organic matter and buried it so that we have a series of buried layers in this soil and it's very clear in this horizon. But these are intermingled with a lighter colored soil. And this, if we take out a chunk of it, especially at depth, you'll see, let's get a good chunk of it. Here we are. That it's, you see art this gray colors, red colors, yellow colors, mottled amongst each other. Now, why are they these various colors? These are caused by different oxidation states of iron and possibly manganese. In the summertime, when the water table gets lower and the uh, soil is drained, then air can come into the soil. That means that the iron that's in the soil can assume its oxidized state and ferric oxide can form, that's a red color. But in the winter, when the uh, soil is saturated with water, then there is anaerobic conditions, reducing conditions, and ferrous oxide, a yellower color or the grayer colors, begin to predominate. And because this fluctuates, a fluctuating water table, we get these little pockets of different colors, and that's called mottling or dlying.